There are no people without history. So once we say Hausa, where does Hausa come from? Who brought Hausa here? Who is this bear jida? Who are these queens who rule Dora? Somebody to sit down in an office under an air condition. He said, no, this history is not true. That, that, that's nonsense. Let them come up with something. Let them come to the field and ask people. We can't condemn our own until we get something better than it. Traditional authorities and historians are to log ahead over the formation of the Hausa dynasty. If you go to Daura today, apart from the palace and that well, and probably the Emir himself, who, who is not the, a true representation of the history that I am linking or communicating to you now about by Jinda. There is nothing to associate that. Let them come up with their true passion. You don't condemn something and you don't have something at hand. You can manage the things that we have at hand. The custodians of culture are resolute that it all began here in the ancient city of Daura. While historians believe the oral history has no substantial evidence to back it up, they claim the story exists only as a myth. We ask what then is the true story of the formation of the Hausa state. in Kasina State, northwestern Nigeria. These architectural designs and murals are reminiscent of the legendary Bayajidda. The story of Bayajidda and Dorama has been passed on from generation to generation, and the mystery around their existence is built on a fantastical story where some historians and researchers say lack scientific justification. Yet it continues to fascinate the younger generation. How Hausa Kingdom? started ruling. It started originally from Daura. Since before arrival of Bajida, he met Daurama, and the Daurama is a queen at the then period. And she married him as a visitor, and they give birth to a child, and also he married another woman. In my opinion, it's believable. Because when you go to Daura, there is evidences, uh, a lot of evidences that will convince you that he exists. Uh, like Kusuguel, like uh, in the Emir Palace of Dora, the Suhe Sword, and there is a lot of evidences. There are different versions of the story of the formation of the Hausa state. But one that has been re-echoed in the minds of many is the oral traditional history of Bayajidda and Magajia Daura Mashawata. The traditional authorities in the Daura Emirate Council say it all started with a man called Abdul Dar. When the Yuzuka Homo Salata Dora, 1500 BC, Shekara Dubudi, the river Kapambayan, Anab Isa Ali Islam, Yazuka Homo Salata Sudesh Abdul Dar. Uh, by any other sue, your part of Muliki, by the Diana, by the Anamaji, say the Amata, Savaraka, the Esa Magaja, Tamshis, and Rota, and Ati, the Magaja Kufuru. So Magaja Kufuru, Tatsiga, the Bulkin Dora, Harsid Axa, and Magaja, with a Tarabayanta, or to Magaja Dorama. When a Magaja Dorama, it is a capital Nedora, there is a Homburnizua, present day Dora. It touches Kuma, what the Alok in the Haganuli, Yonkosugu, Kuma Etrigan on a palace, Kuma Sunant and the Akaba one and Dora Tenzu. The only thing she didn't answer ma. Her name was Dora Ma. Say, Okuba Dora, the Mutans and Chilama, the other Dora.
Sandy Suiza's Nakwere's family have been custodians of the well for the past 100 years. He believed the well is a proof of the existence of Bayajida and Daurama. The well attract tourists and students from different parts of the globe. Ni Mahipina, Yai Sama de Shikara Saba Induana Aba Anongo. Nikumi is the inner de Shikara Talatin Anongo. Ni Naga de Mahipina. In the Akachi Daura, see Anso Kokusu Kusu Kuma Itachi Tushan Hausa Amukasa Hausa, a Nigeria Gabaiki there. Daga Apurka, take a inani babi in the Bazuaka Laman Nigeria. Kumumuna de Shida, one the Mutta Nongo Jaturi. Sina zuwa nongo. Zasu dosi de buduwa si shawa ni ya yuguziri. Bature ni zi ya yuguziri ya tapodeshi. Wani zi chiba ni za njanyo meba. Nida niki ukulade lijia. Haa shi zi janyo da kanshi. Ya ziba aroba ya chizi kewa iyalen shi. The story of how the seven Hausa states were formed started with Kusugu Well. It was the only source of water then for the people of Daura, but inside the well was a snake which hindered the community access except once weekly. For its restriction, the community named it Serki. This name will go on to become a traditional title for kings in northern Nigeria. The Kusugu well, according to oral traditional custodians, became a battleground between the mysterious snake and Abu Yazid, who later became Bayajida. He, Abu Yazid, is a prince, Nabagadat, that's present day Iraq, prince name. She made a kid, Salota, Besamuba. So she has to leave Baghdad. So we yeah, are crossing Red Sea, or to Baharmalia, Yeshugotkin, Sudan, the Shida Mogwaya Bayansa, Sabodaba Samu Salotaba. That was the Abanga before. That was the case. If you lose, you have to leave the Emirate. So say Toho, Yazo, Sudan, Yeshugo Harazo, Borno, Yazo Borno, Yes, I'm May in Borno. Then it was May of Borno, not like now, Shehu of Borno. Kuma resident headquarters, then she was, it was burning Kazargamu by Maiduguri, by present day Maiduguri. So he met him there. He uh, had the already answer. One day, Tasu, May Yetashi Kashishi, Hari Toho Yazo. Yeshugo chicken, Gaduru and Najigawa, Hariazu Gaya. From Gaya, Yalas Uetuhuzu Dora. Yazu Dora in the night, it was a Thursday night. Shukuma Lokachin, one Namachi Jidikis, Kili Yonkusugu, and an ambush in Suna Sariki. That was from the where, where from the what Sariki came. All about, all over the, all, all over the northern Nigeria. You met an old woman. Huh? There's an old woman, that, her name was Ayana. So when he came to her and asked for water in the night, that was on a, on a Thursday night. Say, ah, we don't have water. It's only tomorrow in the morning we fetch water and take it for a week. What happened? Who said that? There's a Sariki inside. He said, Jari, give me, give me the container. He came to the well, and when the snake come up, he killed it and fetch the water. He went to the old woman and gave her the water. She was surprised and shocked at the same time to see the water from Kusu well. The killing of the snake signified the end of water scarcity in the community. Magajia Daurama was more than happy and pledged to reward whosoever had brought them liberation from the snake. In the course of the battle between Abu Yazid and the Sarki, he has to lay one part of his shoes there. So, you know, it's the shoes from the Middle East. So, who gets his? Everybody say, I kill him, I kill him, I kill him. Who kill him? And later, the old woman that called Ayana came and informed the queen that I have a stranger yesterday night and he gave me Kusugu water to drink. So, what can you do? He said, Go and call him. They went and come back with Abu Yazid. You kill him? He said, Yes. Where are the shoes? He brought the other shoe. And he he, there is a part of the snake head and a horn. You know, a horn. That's Kaho. It's there. He said, Okay, we kill him. Okay. I promise whoever killed this. I will divide my emirate into two and give him half to rule. This is the promise of the queen. And, and 
bluntly, Abu Yazid refused that. He said, no, I would rather marry you because I learned that you are not married. According to the oral history, the queen gave in to Bayajida's demand for marriage and brought an end to the rule of queens in the Hausa dynasty. After years of marriage she could not conceive, she handed him a concubine to marry. Here is also two traditions. Some were saying she willingly accepted him that let him marry a queen. She doesn't, she doesn't have to, uh, she doesn't have anything to do with him matrimonially. So she agreed to marry him, a concubine. Some were saying no, it was after he married her. He also wanted to marry a concubine and agree such happened to happen. And it happened. In the process of matrimonial, uh, matrimonial uh, togetherness, Queen couldn't conceive, but the concubine conceived and gave birth to a son. It was concubine seta sama suna yara karab dagari. In modern Hausa is that ya kamagari, huh? Kokoma in the English you say the anointed one, maybe he will succeed his father. Okay. So the queen, come later on, to say I'm tricky, to help her, say I'm not into bow. What does that mean? Bring the girl you. Hey, kakao garden de kakama. But when bow got married, he gave he gave birth to six children. Okay. Lo kachin she bow na salota. Then queen, then a salota. A kwe garu ru asika pala tash. Haka areas just like the little bit here in Kazana, Santolo, in Kano, Turunku, in Zozo. Say Aki Kauk Ara, somebody about an authority close to them, say Queen. So if anything happened, they have to travel to the Ra and complain. Huh? So it's part away. Just Turunku in Zaria. Turunku is very close to Kaduna. In those days, you, at least Zaki 10 days come and get Turunku. Not even not today, when Zaki a motor some hours. Kaji. So I say Aki Kauk Ara, wooden Queen. Again, to Harba or Hamulki, one of the has been going on. So Bao, after training his children, so the Kazan Arab Sbalazashi Yariga Nam and Hosala. So the Ankuya Musukome say, I can't decide to add a kiss, a case one no more, see milk, my Makwang, I take a walk, I hope you get me. So one machine is starting this. So among his children, say, I can't do two good as Shida, they are a Kajisha Adora, Yadama Prince in waiting, Yadama Crown Prince, one machine in Gazora. Come automatically, he became the second Emir Abdora after Bao, his father. So the other one is Bagauda, who was taken to uh, Santolo, later moved to Kano. Then the other child is Kumayo, that was taken to Dr. Tokushi, later on he moved to Katana. And the other child is Duma, who was taken to Burna al Alawa. Okay, still Emir of Gubra in Burna al Alawa. Saboda Haka, say Kumo Gungumi, Wanda Akashi, Turunku, and Zozo Emirate, Wanda later on, Zakada Wazari. I hope you get me. So come out, Tamba, Zamano, Kugu, Rano, Rano, and Oka, and the last born Nishi, Shina Akashi, Rano, Rano is now in Kano State. So the other one is his elder brother, Bawa's elder brother. One day, her father, my the the queen of May of Borno, Nagia Maya, or the dear May of Borno, so yeah, happy, then she acts on Bram. So Bram has to move to Garungabas, and later they move to Hadija. That, these are the seven house assets. Okay, so one soon I am Bau, the ski, Chigaba, the Salota, House of Akwe. Angani, Sukuma, I am Karab the Gari, Sukuma, Sukuma, Salota, and Nebakwe, one that I keep you a Banza Bakwe. They are lesser because they have another trunk. Huh? The Gwari, Gwari have the, their own, but they use Hausa as a linga franca. Okay, they use Hausa as a linga franca. So, Saburaka, you call them the lesser House of Akwe. That if you translate it in Hausa, it means Banzabakwe. Okay? It is only the present Emir of Dora, uh, the sister Emir, Alaj Baruch Umar, has to make a correction in the history. He named them Kanne Bakwe, or En Wabakwe. It's sweeter than Banzabakwe. So they are considered to be illegal. And up to today, there were some little uh, jokes being cracked between the Hausa people of the Hausa states 
uh, seven legal states and uh, Hausa people from the seven, so to say, illegal states. There were some little, that has been, but the question one need to ask is, how could a foreigner, somebody that came from uh, Baghdad, present day Iraq now, came and, and, and be the origin, the originator of the seven, the, the Hausa, Hausa, and this person doesn't even speak the language. The oral traditional custodians have told this story for ages, and many are persuaded to believe in its existence. But historians and researchers are not convinced with the reality of the story. It needs to be subjected to scientific inquiry. We are traveling to meet a historian to help us understand why this legendary oral story is a myth and does not exist in the annals of history. If you go to Daulatini, apart from the palace and that well and probably the emir himself who, who is not the, a true representation of the history that i am linking our communicating to you now about by agenda there is nothing to associate that go to egypt when you're talking about civilization of the egyptian uh, of the egyptians you see the pyramids you see the hieroglyphics, the writings, you see everything, the mummifications of the, uh, of the perils. Go to Nubia. From that area, most of the small, small pyramids are true representation of the Egyptian civilization, which has spanned for more than 3,000 years. Now, when you are talking about Daura, perhaps the only thing that I can link that tradition, the oral tradition of Bayajidda is a song that some women are singing in the palace. They are saying, Ki mama, this and that. This is a reality, not Hausa. An investigator who is dedicating a research to that uh, aspect had actually linked that wordings that they are uttering to the Coptic Egyptian language which actually is dating or is trying to link Daura to the Egyptian civilization because that language is extinct, is no longer in existence. It's just memorized and being told, which is also belying what the Bayadid legend is saying because the Bayadid legend apparently is linking Daura to the Arabic civilization, not to the the Coptic Egyptian civilization or to the Egyptian civilization because the word is, is not Arabic but what not Hausa to and is linked to the Coptic Egyptian language. These songs according to the oral traditional custodians originate from Hausa and was used to appease the snake whenever the villagers go out to fetch water. Through century, the song has been part of the traditions of Daura, rendered to the Emir on special occasions. Many things uh, to consider that make the story uh, a legend that uh, make it a mere fiction, for example, to say that someone come from the Arabian Peninsula and uh, uh, about 900, 900 AD, uh, his king, uh, he was a prince from Baghdad. Baghdad at that time, 900 AD, was under the Abbasid dynasty. And at that time, the, the story also has it that he is a son of a king of the Baghdad called Abdullah. Well, the, the records are there in Baghdad. Uh, you can check there is no king in Baghdad that is called Abdullah around that time. I think the Abdullah they have uh, rule in the 780. In the last Abdullah they have was rule uh, Baghdad. Yeah, precisely in 700. In 780. So uh, that makes it a legend, not, uh, not history.
Since historians and researchers cannot agree among themselves, proposing different theories on how the formation of Hausa State came to be in northern Nigeria, how far from the truth is the oral traditional history? The origin of the Hausa was said to be from the uh, Middle East. And based on the Otokono's theory by uh, Abdullahi Mah uh, Mahdi Adamu, in his Otokono's theory, he believed that we are from the Lake Chad Basin. And from when were they found in Lake Chad Basin? It's still a question of the historical investigation. Somewhere also of the view that it was originally when Okuba bin Nafi, the origin of the Fulanis, and this Okuba bin Nafi was one of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu disciples. After his demise, people saw no reason, those Sahabat saw no reason to sit in Mecca, either Mecca or Medina. They had to migrate, and they migrated across the globe. Some were able to reach the West Africa, some were able to reach uh, uh, Southeast Asia, others, Middle East, others, a lot of this. So part of the marriages he encountered were said to be those that were originally from him because he married a black tribe. So uh, though some of them were, uh, does not, uh, did not even believe that he married a black tribe, but because of the sociological and anthropological transformation uh, due to the such nature of climate change, weather and what have you, it began to have uh, changes in the skin color, changes in the way they live, changes in the way they, 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 they intermingle with the other uh, rest of the people. So that is another fact. But be it as it may, one cannot say single out that the origin of Hausa specifically and originally solely dependent on Baye Jidda. Clearly, the theories revolving around the creation of Hausa State have different origins, leaving the public confused on what to believe. We paid one more visit to the Emirate Council in Daura, seeking a response to what the traditional authorities think of the historians and researchers' perspective. First of all, uh, this is not a story. We don't call it story, we call it history. It is history in the sense that we uh, come to learn of it from our grandparents, them from the uh, generations, often generations. So I don't think we call it story, we call it history. But uh, what I would say, uh, the academicians, let them come up with their own true passion. Let them come up with what happened. There are no people without history. So once we say Hausa, where does Hausa come from? Who brought Hausa here? Who is this bear jida? Who are these queens who rule Dora? Who are those, who are those kings who rule the seven house states? I mean the true seven house states. Then who are the, the kings that rule? Who are the kings that rule the lesser seven house states? Let them come up with their true passion, what they consider to be true. Then let them come up with another passion. You don't condemn something and you don't have something at hand. Uh, there's a proverb in Hausa that says, Edamba Karada Shegi Madani. You know, meaning that if you don't have something good at hand, then you can't condemn anything. You can manage the thing that you have at hand. Let them come up with their own true passion. What happened? Huh? What happened? Beaji came to Dora, killed the snake that is called Sarki at Kusu Well, and married the queen, bore a child that named Bao. This Bao, his son, his son founded the true seven house estates. That if they say it's no, then what happened? Who found Katana? Who's Kumayo, the fourth king of Katana? If you go to Katana, they will tell you that the fourth king of Katana is Kumayo. And that Kumayo is the son of Bao, the grandson of Bayajita, and the grandson to the uh, Dorama, the queen. If you go to Kano, the first king of Kano, according to the king list, is Bagoda. Bagoda is believed to be the son of Bao. If you go to Zozo, the first king was uh, Gungumi. He's believed to be the son of Bao the grandson of Bayajida, also the grandson of the queen, Daurama. If you go to Hadejia, the first king is Bram. Bram is believed to be the junior brother of Bao, is another son of Bayajida. If you go to Rano, 
the 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 smallest child, the last child of Bao, that they call him Autam Bao. We are all used to this. Our parents told them, told us, their parents told them, their forefathers told them, generations upon generations. So if you don't believe in something, you just can't condemn it. You bring something, come up with something that is more relevant, more, more true to, 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 to the other one. You just don't go and sit down in university and condemn things. They came and took Bayajida's sword and knife away. They took it to Germany. According to the archaeologists, it was constructed uh, about 2,500 years ago. Okay? The knife was constructed for over 1,000 years. And they go to Dubita Kushei, where Kumayo first settled in Katana Emirate. They found things. There are many graves of the first past queens, uh, the first kings, of, of course, of the Drubawa family, which, of, which Bao is, um, uh, Kumayo is among them. So, what else did they need? So we just sit down, we are a people without history. Can that be possible? No, look, I, wa I was in uh, Sulalamido University at Kefana Hausa three years ago. Uh, we took this over, especially with a professor, a Hausa professor. Then I told him, okay, if the Ra history is nothing to, to carry home, then bring up your history. What is the origin of Hausa? Then he says, Sokoto. Look at Sokoto, Sokoto that come, come after the, uh, at the jihad of Shea Osman Opodu. Sokoto town, Sokoto city was built in 1809 by Sultan Muhammad Bello, the second Sultan of the uh, Sokoto Caliphate. That's only 200, 214 years. So you mean to tell me Hausa has started existing in, in, 2000, in, in, in 1807? It's not like that. Let them come up with something substantial, something reasonable, something historical, so that we can Take our, our, can keep our one aside and follow that one. But somebody to sit down in an office under an air condition, he said, no, this history is not true. I would. That, that's nonsense. Let them come up with something. Let them go to the field and ask people. Huh? So this is, uh, this is where we stand. We can't condemn our own until we get something better than it. I, I hope you get me. So as far as we are concerned, this is the history. This is what we learned from our poor parents. Generations upon generations have been saying that if you go to a house in Ilorin, he will tell you that Baya Jidda Adora, Queen Adora. If you go to Hausa uh, at Hadija, if you anywhere, even in the general public, even in Ghana, you tell Hausa, he will tell you, tell you that you mean all these things are lying just because you went to a classroom uh, and, be, uh, and be taught for, for only two or three years or four years of history. No, I don't think it's true. We, we have to come back into our senses, okay? Regardless of what the society makes of the Kusugu well, the legend of Bayajida lives on in the hearts of many in Katsina. From the gates in Daura to the Emir's palace and the bridges, emblems of Bayajida's might grace the city architecture. Whether fiction or non-fiction, it is a challenge for historians and researchers to verify the authenticity of these oral traditional history and put to rest the debate over the existence of Bayajida and the impact he had created in the house estates.